Hi there. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to use Elector Live, which is a which is screen recording software that you can download um, quite simply if you go to screenrecordings.com. You click on this button over here, get it free. It will download automatically and instantly. Obviously, you just install the software, and once it's installed quite easy to do what you need to do is open it up and over here you will notice you can say new when you say new you'll see a, a range of, of uh, settings you can click on full screen recording only selecting an area having only a, a, a do your webcam and so forth and there are other settings that you can also engage with and then also you need to record your sound which is mostly coming from your microphone um, of your laptop which is usually what you would use for things like skyping and you can also set the settings you simply choose a place where you want to save it you choose a name right lecture one you say save and you say okay and then you say start now I'm not going to start it now because then it's going to cancel the one that I'm currently busy with. But then you just say start and it, a screen will come up which says 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and it will record. And then once you are complete, this will minimize so you won't really see it. And then once you want to complete it, you will see you just need to click on one of these buttons over here and your uh, recorder will be right over there. Now recording. Okay, so you can see that it's still recording. If I click on it, this thing will come up and it will show how much time I've been uh, uh, recording. And then I can say pause, either pause or stop. Once I say stop, it will, um, it will save the file. As you can see, it's already made a preliminary file here, which I've called using Elector Live. That's the video that I'm currently recording. Once I say stop, it will completely save the footage over here. Something to note is that it's saving it as an AVI, as you can see over there. It's an AVI file. Now, an AVI file is a very large file um, because it's carrying a lot of rich video data. And uh, so a, an hour video is probably going to be more than a gig of space. Actually, maybe um, 1.6 gigs um, is going to be required for a lecture session of an hour and a half. So I would say make sure that you have enough space in your computer to save these files. And then once you save them, um, or at least once, yeah, once they've been saved, you can change the format using a, a um, program called Format Factory, which you can also download. Let me just see where quickly. Format Factory. We just go to Format Factory. Let's have a look here. Okay, there we go. PC Free Time is one place where you can download Format Factory. If you click download over there, and we're just giving it a moment, and download again over here. It should download. Let's just have a look and make sure that it does. There we go. Okay, so it's you just install it. Once it's installed, you go to Format Factory, and now you need to change the uh, the um, the format <laughs> of the video. And I'll just use a different video. So I first need to decide which one I want to uh, change it to. Most of the ones that work well on the format that works well on Blackboard is Windows Media Video. So you click on Windows Media Video over there and you say add file or I think you can also drag and drop. I'm just going to drag and drop this test 3 in. There we go. And then I need to choose an output right uh, where I want it to go. I can change that as well. If I click on there, I'm just going to say desktop for now. Okay, there's change to desktop. And uh, yeah, you can choose options and you can, you know, look at it and and so forth. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that now 
um, and then you just say okay and you say start all right there it's quickly okay and it plays a little song all right there we go so now there should be one on my desktop which is a Windows media video file and it should be much smaller than the other one yes as you can see there it's only 600 and three kilobytes which is very small this one which is the ABI file is 1.7 megabytes okay so you need to make sure that you change the format of the file once uh, you've got the it's going to be very large change the format to Windows Media Video and then delete the large file um, unless you can save it on an external hard drive or something like that because it, obviously it's going to fill up um, your computer very quickly if you don't delete it okay so that's it uh, just some other tips make sure that when you are recording your lecture that you don't when you're talking you need to always be fairly close to your computer otherwise it won't record your voice so make sure that you don't walk too far around the classroom when you're recording also when you do when you um, drawing on the blackboard or the whiteboard which we have these days uh, don't try and talk in such a way or don't talk while you're writing in the in your while you're recording talk towards the laptop to make to ensure that your students can hear you because that's a very important part so what will happen is obviously you'll it won't it won't see your face unless you decide in the settings to record the webcam but what it will record obviously is um, your your PowerPoint presentations uh, let me just show you an example uh -huh. and there we go and right I'll just go to my first one for the year which I think is that one okay so as you can see it will record uh, just like this this is exactly what it will look like and feel like to your students um, because you're talking and you're lecturing and you're saying what is marketing um, it's a concept cover we're going to kind of cover customer satisfaction and then then well in this lecture I ask them what is marketing and then I get some feedback and so forth so this is what it will look like um, when you are doing your lecture and um, this is what students will experience when they're watching the videos on Blackboard so that's basically um, it if there are any other questions please feel free to email me um, at let me just write it here for you you can email me at dhcromot at gmail.com or at my CPUT address is cromotd at cput.ac.za um, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free. I'm also on 021-460-3267. Uh, That's my, uh, yeah. And my room number is in the engineering building on the Cape Town campus, E3.27B. You're welcome to pop in as well. There are also other ways to record your lectures, like using a video camera that you put on a tripod. Um, you just need to make sure that you point it towards the the board where your PowerPoint is being shown but otherwise the students won't be able to see what's written on the PowerPoint um, and you can also use a tablet but it, using a tablet is a bit more tricky and um, yeah it takes takes a bit, a bit uh, a few more other elements so if you have a tablet and you want to use it to record your lectures you can also contact me and I can uh, share with you what apps you should you can use um, and so forth so that's it I trust that you enjoyed this video as a good as a nice demo to illustrate how to use or at least how yeah at least how to use uh, what's it Lecter live format factory and how to prepare uh, good videos uh, that your students can use all right